Kyle Edgeworth. I'm the deputy CIO for the city of Crum. But we're looking at ways in which we can continue operations um, no matter what happened. And say there was an earthquake or the fire. And for us, we started looking to how do we virtualize our desktops with virtual desktops. You have to think about a way you're going to be printing because you can't think about that on-premise print server. You can't think about, you know, how am I redirecting printers? It really doesn't work efficiently um, by doing it in that current manner that we normally think of print servers and having that terminal server. We were looking for something that was easy, uh, that was allows us to just um, not even think about printing, to be honest, just put it and then forget it. And once we moved to eZip, it really hasn't had a problem. It, it just, they just click and print. You know, you honestly set it up and then you forget it's there because it just works. Our users didn't know any different because when they logged in, they saw their printers show up and they just printed to it. They didn't have to be told, okay, well, when you're printing, you need to print to this printer. And they just saw the printer that they're used to and they just clicked on it and printed. My first experience with cloud printing, uh, it's been great though, to be honest. From the beginning, you know, we jumped on, I guess, as beta users and kind of went forward with that. And really it was as simple as it makes it out to be. You just install the client on uh, the virtual desktop and then you have um, the ability to print. I mean, it's, it's really that easy. And with the 30 day trial, um, it's really, there's no obligation. I mean, you can really just try it out and see if it works in your, in your infrastructure. Um, I think you'd be surprised at how quickly I, I had to set it up. Um, the other day when we kind of were making some adjustments, we reset it up and it took five minutes and I was in, I installed it into my master image. And that night when I deployed it out the next day, everyone had it. We know that it's backed up into our, our Azure cloud, uh, and it's linked into our active directory. So we have that flexibility to lock in you know, what um, users are able to access it and cannot. On our side, when we think about printing and tickets, a lot of tickets that we get are because of printing. So we have hundreds of printers and different devices. Um, and so being able to um, basically have that flexibility to know if I add a new printer, I don't have to worry about the drivers or anything like that. Um, that was something that was important to us. And in this model, uh, we really haven't had any complaints. It's been phenomenal.